Welcome to week three of your unit on interdependent relationships and ecosystems. This week you're going to be looking specifically at what adaptations are and how animals adapt to their habitat or environment. Last week you should have seen some of the different animals in their environments because you should have watched a video and created a presentation, but this week we're going to dive a little deeper and actually start writing your paper. Uh, so first of all, I want to describe what an adaptation is, and there are two different types. The first is going to be a physical adaptation, which is how an animal physically changes uh, the way they act in an environment so they can adapt to their environment. They can fit into their environment and survive. An adaptation is something that helps an animal survive. The second is going to be called an evolutionary adaptation, and that's where, through, over time, the animal actually changes the way it looks, the way it's uh, the way it is actually built or uh, created uh, to adapt to its environments. And one of the ex examples of that is going to be uh, the moth, which started out as black, but birds were able to eat that, uh, so they turned it to gray or white. Uh, so that's one of the cool things about adaptations. There are many di different ways in that they can take place. This week, what I want you to do, the first thing is you're going to open the tab you see on the screen here. And it's going to be a brief um, educational slide about uh, what adaptation is and it's going to give you some examples of specific animals and how they adapt. So read through that once you have a better understanding of what adaptation is. After that, create a Google document titled Ad Adaptations and I want you to answer the following questions through the fact sheet that you used and your own research and the information that I'm giving you uh, in 12 to 15 sentences. Um, with this, remember, you're, it seems like a lot of writing right now, but this is actually going to be one of the sections of your paper, so you're knocking it out right away. So the questions I want you to answer in that paragraph are what are the two different types of uh, adaptations animals can make to their environment. Use an, uh, For this section, use the animal that you are using that you've already chosen, uh, because I want you to understand what your animal's adaptations are. Make sure you include the name of your animal and all the physical adaptations that animal makes. Uh, we're not looking at evolutionary adaptation this week. Uh, we'll be looking at that in the future, but the physical adaptations. Also, I want you to make sure you include a picture of the animal on the document. So you're actually going to be putting pictures into your informational piece, this unit. For your math connection this week, I want you to read this short article about bipeds and quadrupeds. And this article uh, is going to be very brief. Uh, I don't want you to uh, feel overwhelmed with the new vocabulary that, that you're using, but it's going to describe what a quadruped is as well as a biped. Uh, these are two very scientific terms, and once you understand them, they're actually going to make a lot of sense. After you read that article, I want you to, on your Math Connections worksheet that you created uh, previously, write the definition of each and an example. Um, so make sure to describe them in your own words and add a picture of each under the definition to show you understand the difference. And I even gave you a little hint here. For your writing connection, which obviously you've already started writing your paper uh, in your instruction slide, I want you basically to watch this video and you're just going to set up the outline of your paper. Uh, the title of your paper is going to be Your Animal Conservation. Uh, and what I mean by that is if you chose, um, for example, a wild horse, you'd say wild horse conservation. Or if you chose a panda, it would be panda conservation. Uh, but this week, you're really just setting up the outline. 